Hey guys, I'm Chris and this is the longest way AMA. I work from China to Germany and I'm here to answer your questions. Our third question is by Dr. China Boar PhD on Twitter, or as we teenagers like to call it, X. And they want to know how did you cope with illness? So if I got sick on the road, what would I do? I think this is going to require a little bit of a longer answer because I also want to talk about some of the stuff that I did before I even started walking when I was still in Germany because I think that's important too. For example, the very first thing that I did was I went to my medical insurance and I asked them, would you also pay for stuff that happened in any of these countries along the way? To which they said, to my surprise, ja, to which I said, das ist wunderbar. So that was a good idea. Then I went to an orthopedist, a bone doctor, and I explained the plan to them. I showed them my feet, my knees, my hips, my posture. And they prescribed me these orthopedic inlays, these custom made things that you put in your shoes and then you walk on them. I've been walking on them ever since and I really love them. So I think that was a good idea as well. Then I went to a general practitioner in Germany and I showed them my vaccine passport. This thing has all of my vaccinations in it. I showed it to them. I explained the plan to them, told them where I was going to go. And they advised me to take a few additional shots just to be more safe. So I took the shots, which is no problem. I really like getting vaccinated. And then I went and bought a, a first aid kit, a little red box. I remember buying it in some outdoor store. The box was supposed to contain some of the stuff that you might need in case of a medical emergency. So I bought that box and I put it in my backpack and I walked with it for years and thank God I never had to use it. I did open it a few times. I checked the contents, if everything was there. I checked the expiration dates. I used the, di the disinfectant or a Band-Aid, but I never got into a situation where it was so serious that I had to get out the first aid kit and administer for an aid, first aid, which was really good because Honestly, I'm not sure if I would have known what to do anyway. I kind of don't like to see blood, so I might have just fainted in a case like that. So yeah, lucky, 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 that kind of thing never happened to me. Now that's not to say that I never got sick on the road. I did get sick quite a few times. So we're getting to the juicy stuff here. Juicy indeed, <laughs> because the first thing is diarrhea. The traveler's nightmare. Everybody knows, but nobody wants to talk about it. Diarrhea, oh man, I hated it. I would always have a little aluminum box of Imodium, this anti-diarrhea medication. I would have it on me or very accessible in the backpack. And whenever I felt weird in my stomach, I'd pop in an Imodium or two, hope for the best. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, but that was an issue on the way. I got dental issues sometimes. I remember one time in Kyrgyzstan, in Bishkek, I went to a hospital that had a dental ward. And they fixed a the tooth and it was fine. And another time in Hungary, in Budapest, I got a wisdom tooth pulled and it was fine too, except for my whining because I am very whiny. And then there were the back problems. I got a bad disc. So I got physical therapy in Almaty in Kazakhstan for a few weeks, did another round of physical therapy in Tbilisi, Georgia. And once I got to Budapest in Hungary, my disc got so bad, I ended up in hospital and they wanted to operate, but I said, no. And then I ended up staying in Budapest for six months just doing physical therapy. And guess who paid for the physical therapy? My medical insurance, because they had said, yeah, so that was good. And then there was a rabies scare. I got bitten by dogs two times on the road, one time in Georgia, one time in Romania. Both times the bites themselves, they weren't really bad at all. They're very small, but still you got to clean them up and you have to go to the hospital to pick up your rabies shots. And it's not just one shot. It's multiple shots over a certain period of time. That was a little bit difficult. One thing that surprised me was I already had a rabies vaccination from going to the doctor in the beginning when I was still in Germany. But the thing about these vaccinations is that only buys you time. If you got that initial vaccination and you get bitten by a dog, you still need to get additional shots. So I did that. I remember it was five shots each time and it made it a little bit difficult with the walking because you have to take them at a certain time in a hospital. And I wasn't necessarily close to a hospital. So what I would do is I would walk until I got to a place where I could store my stuff. Then I would take a taxi or find somebody with a car. They would take me to a hospital. I would get the shot and come back. It's very annoying. But again, you don't want to mess with rabies. If you get it, even if the chance is very low that you get it, if you get it, you are fucked. So, went and got the shots. Apart from that, I remember catching a cold a few times or getting the flu, as you would at home. And if that happened while I was in an urban environment somewhere, I would try to get a room somewhere. Just try to find a place where I can lay low for a few days, just wait it out. 
maybe I would go to a pharmacy, you know, as we do when we have a cold and we know full well that there's nothing we can do about it. But still, we go to that pharmacy and we're like, <coughs> give me those vitamins. So I would do that. Maybe if it got worse, I would go see a doctor. And it's really the same if it's in Kazakhstan or in Iran, Turkey or Austria. The urban environments, they got doctors and they got pharmacies. And it's the best if you just find a place to rest. So I would do that. If I was in a countryside, I remember that happened too. One time I was staying on the shores of Lake Issykul in Kyrgyzstan in a Soviet-style run-down sanatory. And I was staying there for a long time because I was, I was waiting for a visa. And one morning I wake up and I'm thinking, man, I must have caught something because it was difficult to get up. I, mean, I felt so heavy and so weak. Just walking over to, to the bathroom was difficult. I had bloodshot eyes. I was running a fever. It was just terrible. And I was very far from a pharmacy and very far from a doctor. So what I did was I went downstairs to a shop that was around the corner and I bought a lemon. I bought a jar of honey. I bought some pepper and a bottle of vodka. And then I mixed all of that with hot water to create a magic potion. And I had that magic potion along with a lot of rest in my room for a few days. And I don't know if it was a magic potion or what, but I got better. So yeah, that's what I did. And I would always have a stash of supplements with me. Basically, vitamin B12, vitamin D, and magnesium. Sometimes I would take other stuff as well, but that was the core. And then I would have a box of ibuprofen, a painkiller, and another box of some broadband antibiotics, just in case. So that's about it. One thing I haven't talked about is my diagnosis. I got diagnosed with MS in 2021, but I will talk about that in a later video. Thanks everyone. Thanks Dr. China Board PhD for your question. Stay healthy, take your vitamins. Peace.